I'm back, baby! Hello, everyone. This is Derek DeFiler, and we're back after a month or so. And yeah, it's been a while, and mainly the reason is because of, well, this. But yeah, that's what happens. Life goes on, you know? Crap happens. So. After all that junk, I got in a new car and everything, and did some paperwork, a couple other things, I am finally able to record another video. I've been slacking off. I am a slacker. But we're here now, so let's get on. I don't even remember where I was last time. I think I fought the, what's his name, Jonathan or whatever, here, and then I talked to... I need to go talk to the apprentice kid, right? And then go to Hanag. I think that's what we were doing. Or did I already talk to him? I already talked to him. Okay. So I think we could just go to Hanag and turn in the quest there, I believe. If I'm not wrong. Probably am. I don't know. I don't care anymore. Life is pointless. All right. Here we go. Up here. That was a fun fight. Ah, oh, poor magisters. Did they really deserve it? Where'd she go? Oh, she's down there. You little sneaky sneak. Whee! And it's been so long since I played this, I don't even know if I remember how. My hero, I'm grateful. Are you now? A sense of urgency from deep within you quickens your heart and hardens your gut. Your god wants you to know that this sorcerer can help you on your mission. She can help you to become more powerful. Whee! What news of Gwydion Rince? Have you found him? Tell her the Magisters took Gwydion, but you were able to free him. Oh, I am relieved to hear it. You have my thanks, and you shall have my help. I can give you a greater understanding of your source. I can increase your powers. I can show you how to take the source from the world around you. From the animal world, the creatures of the forest. Oh. Tell her you're eager to learn. Ask what happens to the animals. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's ask. All living creatures have their small share of source. You may draw it to you, and I will show you how. You shall gain much in power, but then <laughs> they will lose it all. They die. Wow. And you laugh? What a jerk. A feeling rises from deep inside you. The sentiment is clear. The animals must die to serve your god. You must not falter. You must do what must be done. You must serve your God. Eh, yeah, tell her me to learn. Why not? She takes your hand. You feel a vibration. The humming of life all around you. The sensation of a hundred tiny heartbeats. The true rhythm of the forest. With Hanag as your guide, you reach out into the woods. The heartbeat rhythm quickens as the creatures of the forest sense you pulling at them. You draw their source towards you. The rush of power through your body. Through your very soul, surprises and delights. You feel stronger, more capable. You have taken one more step towards the ultimate power. And the woods are quiet. The creatures of the forest are all dead. My debt is paid. But I worry about your heart. It can be good and bad. The time will come when you must choose between the many and the few. I hope that then you will remember your good heart. Yeah, what do you care? You kill animals. I owe you a debt. It must be repaid. She opens her hand. I kill and animals. Between them opens a tiny portal. A book drops from it. She catches it and hands it to you. I bid you farewell. She gave me the planar, planar gateway. I already know it. Damn it. Uh, I should have waited. Vow keeper, huh? What else have we got in here? Can she identify stuff? She can. Yay. Identify everything. Hanog. Han Hanog. It's all good. It's all good, baby. Okay, so. I think after this. What do I want to go next? The tar, the, the tar pit thingies? Something like that. I wanted to make some more of the. Um, like my little conjured imp guy. I want to make some more options for him, I believe. I don't remember. Fire in my blood. I never imagined such power. 
Once more, you feel your soul expand with raw source. Deep inside, your god calls for you again. You should perform the Meister's ritual one last time, here or in Siva's vault. Okie dokie. We will go later. So misty. Steam Cloud. Why is that still here? Handag looks friggin' awesome. Eh, if I could just figure out how to get close there. That armor is dope. Dangerous lady. Level 13 trader. She ain't no trader. Okay. Let's rest. And quick save it. We finally did, got the uh, three source points. What else do I want to do? Uh, the witch. I don't think I can kill the witch anytime soon. Um, I'm undead, so I can go there. I don't want to go on the island yet. I kind of like to save that for last because it's the higher level area. Cleared out stone uh, garden cemetery. I think that's what it's called, right? Um, yeah, sort of garden graveyard. Gareth's over there. I don't know what he's doing over there. What is he doing over there? Let's go talk to Gareth. I'm curious. Oh, Gareth! Gareth! Move your butt. So now that I got this... Well, actually, I already had vampirism, I believe. So, yeah, good to go. Didn't we already do this section? I could have sworn I already did this section. Alright, let's talk to Gareth. Gareth toils in monotony. Nod to the mounds of dirt. What's going on? Ask if he's alright. It's not like him to be so sullen. Undead. Motion at the graves. Is he putting someone down or digging someone up? Leave Gareth to his task. Um, I think we want to be friends. I already know this skill. I don't even remember what skills I was using. That's how long this has been. Um, I think I was... Go I know summoning was my main one, but what was I doing after summoning? Geomancer. Okay. Got it. It's all c becoming clear now. So, you know, why don't I have all of these... I should have all of these, shouldn't I? Like, why don't I have poison dart? That's a basic one, or poison wave. What's going on, man? I got those. I don't even think I need these, but whatever. Reactive armor, eh. I never use that. I should do a build one of these days with reactive armor. That'd be interesting. Um, okay. Let's sell some stuff. I missed one. I missed two. Don't need the action. I'm doing wands. Sell you, sell you, sell you. Smack the mic. Uh, keep the purging wand. Sell you, sell you. Dee, 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 dee. Don't think I need any of this anytime soon because I got vulture set. And I'll probably be using that the entirety of the game because it's so much fun. Don't want a shield. What about this? One to three for you, one to leadership. Uh, and no, don't really need any of this, do I? Eh, let's just give him that. Why not? I got more than enough monies. All right, let's talk to him. Ask if he's all right. I guess we're gonna stick with the diplomatic route. Gareth freezes, then turns slowly towards you. His breaths are steady. His voice a monotone. I'm digging my own parents' graves. You'll have to forgive me for not being first-rate company. Well, no need to be a Debbie Downer, geez. Gareth moves to continue his task, but his cadence falters. He pauses. Silence hangs, begging to be broken. Apologize. You had no idea. Or tell him to keep steady. He's no stranger to death, after all. Um, I think I'll just apologize. No, of course you didn't. Yeah, sorry. I've seen Seeker's blood 
seeping into the sand. I waded through corpses on the deck of the Lady Vengeance. But when the lifeless eyes looking back at you are your own mothers, I just didn't know. I didn't know what darkness lied beyond pain. Now, well, now I do. Wonder who could have done this. Reach out to comfort him. Stay silent. Let's wonder. Dallas's pets. Such helpful tools they are, too. The abominations do the dirty work, and the whites keep their robes clean. Convenient. Does sound pretty, you know, efficient. They're still there, spreading their rancid smell through the house. Paladins came to clean up the mess. In the name of Lucian, they say, and they seem to believe it. Gareth shies away from him. His eyes pass over the half-filled graves, and he takes a shuddering breath. I, I'm the one who's prayed. An endless litany. How many pleas does it take? How many tears do I have to shed? How much must I lose for the gods to listen? Gareth forcefully exhales and looks past you to the nearby house. You fear he might snap the shovel's handle in two. Press for details. He mentioned paladins. Who are they? Say that Lucian might be gone, but you are still here for him. The Seekers, too. Mirror his anger. It's time for revenge. Scholar suggests you try a nerve tonic. It will help <laughs> calm him down. Mystic, the spirits are troubled. Tell him to think carefully about his next step. Wow, so many fun options here. Let's ask about the paladins, though. If you'd asked me yesterday, I'd have said they were the only ones left in the Divine Order worth their weight in salt. Ooh. I have honored their devotion to our lost Lucian. Oh. Today, though, I don't know. The paladins once fought the Black Ring at Lucian's command. The most courageous thing they could do now is turn their backs on the order. I'm not holding my breath. Okay, uh, next, let's do the mystic one. I've no use for empty platitudes. Not from a walking skeleton chosen as the seventh divine pet. Yeah. I take offense to that. I'm not a pet. I am a walking skeleton, though. You swear you hear Gareth's pulse galloping faster than a saddled mount. You've never heard such a thing before, but you suspect Gareth's heart is close to tearing. No, Gareth, no. You want to help? Then you find the craven white that ordered their slaughter. Anyone that stands between you and truth, no matter the flag they fly or creed they follow, make them bleed. All right, I mean, I kind of want to go on the revenge route just for the fun of it, but I think I did that my last playthrough, so let's just tell him to calm down. Look into his eyes. He's descending into madness. He must let his anger go. Shake your head. Is this what his parents would want for him to succumb to unbridled rage? Our hero channel Lucian's words. A full axe on rage. The wise calm their fury. He must not act on his impulses. For an audio in this together, no matter what. Wash your hands of this entire affair. Um, hero. Eh. I mean, I guess that would be the easiest route. Shake your head. Let's do hero. Ooh, yay. His clenched jaw tightens further. And then, in an instant, Gareth's guard is broken. Tears well in his eyes. With every blink, a pearl of grief falls to his cheeks. My parents. They did nothing to deserve this. Welcome to the world, man. They were good. Honest. More honest than me. Are you sure? I'd give my own life to Okay. I never, I never got that last chance to tell them I loved them. I never got to say goodbye. You're right. There's nothing more to be done here. Lucian, forgive me. And please, God Woken, please forgive me too. Nah, I don't feel like it. I'll, I'll see you on the Lady Vengeance. If I dig up his stuff I think his family like kill me or he'll come and kill me Gareth mentioned are arguing in front of the door to the modest farmstead as they notice your arrival they stop talking and look at you quizzically ask them what's going on here stride up and tell them to move aside so you can enter the house leave them to their argument we're guarding this house wise to stay well back there's a bunch of silent monks inside who've tasted blood today already killed in there so they did they didn't kill anybody the Magisters who controlled them did. You know Donna, she wouldn't hurt a fly. Not until they turned her. But they did turn her. And now she's not Donna anymore. Get it through your head. The poor creature should be put down. No, wait! Surely... Maybe someday they can be fixed. 
All this source nonsense is over. The other paladin rolls his eyes and shakes his head as he turns to face you. In any event, it's our business, not yours. You just stay well away from the door and you'll be perfectly safe. Tell him not to worry. You'll take care of the monks. Might as well. You can't do that. These... They were people who were loved. It's not right to butcher them like cattle. Tell him to trust you. Silent monks aren't people anymore. They're puppets. Tell him to think about it. What would Donna wish for? Tell them of the silent monks you met on your travels. Putting them down is a merciful act. Yes, do that one. You... You're right. Here, take the key. We'll... We'll leave you to it. I don't want to see Donna like that again. You'll remember her as she was, Jad. The real her. Paladin William nods his thanks to you. And with a last sorrow-filled glance at the house, Paladin Jad turns to follow his companion away. Vied. Uh, the lumpen silent monk stands like a pillar of decaying flesh. Oh boy. There's Don, I think. Poor girl. There's Gara's parents. Looking good, you know. Pretty good shape for their age. Dwarf man. Yeah, I never noticed like the black on his arms. Is this supposed to be? What is that? It's not hair. Or is it hair? No. It's interesting. Alright, let's talk to you first. Solid and immobile. The silent monk abides. Decide to free him. You slice into him, releasing his organs and his life onto the floor. He looks through your eyes with seeming disinterest as the life ebbs from his body, drop by drop, until he is gone and the flesh that housed him slumps to the ground. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Taking that money, though. Emaciated of body and spirit, this silent monk stands straighter than the others, the remnants of military bearing clear in her posture. Oh, this maybe is Donna. This must be Donna. The one spoken of by the paladins guarding the door. Yeah, poor Donna. Tell her that Jod remembers her fondly. This is no life killer. I'll tell her Jod remembers her. She gives her. no indication at all that she has heard you, save for a single tear dripping from one eye. Oh. Her tears flow along with her blood, yet, even in the moment of death, she does not break her silence. I'm sorry, Ganya. Let's just read it. Maisie, I've been stationed with the most amazing guy. Jad is his name. He's just perfect. Everything I've ever hoped for. We're on a mission now to negotiate with some magisters regarding their views on sorcerers. You know me. It boils my blood to argue for our basic rights with those tyrants. Jad and I had a long conversation about it the other night, and we're like two peas in a pod with our views. I finally found the perfect person. I'll be sending this letter after our sortie, and we'll write another one. <coughs> or if. <coughs> I have more news to share about Jad. Until then. Yeah. Donna. Oh, Donna, Donna, Donna. I'm sorry. This dwarven monk hangs his head, as if looking down at his feet. A wretched gurgly noise issues from him. Reach out and lift his chin to look into his face. Take the opportunity to take him out while he's distracted. Just reach out. Staring down into his face, you realize you were staring into mutilation. He has no eyes. His empty sockets crawling with blood maggots. The gurgling sound Delicious. comes from his stitched mouth, though no meaning can be understood. Man, game, are you trying to turn me on? Put the poor wretch out of his misery. He does not resist in the least. Merely slumps to the ground with one final gurgle. Just another day at the office. Pretty. Twenty gold is crap. The silent monk looks like she was only recently converted. Her face was clearly beautiful once. And the eyes looking at you are not yet the full fuligin black of other silent monks you have seen. One of her hands trembles. Twitching, it reaches out to you. Perhaps she is not too far gone. Take her hand. Brush her hand away and take her life. Take her her hand. hand is cold and smooth, like that of a porcelain doll. Jerkily, as if unused to movement, she strokes your hand gently and looks into your eyes. Her lips part and her mouth moves. Did she whisper, save? Or slay me. Or did you only hear what you wanted to hear in the whispers of the wind? Yes, yeah, slay. Her eyes squeeze shut and her whole body trembles, but she puts up no resistance as you kill her. Sorry, no cure, guys. May Gareth always choose the right path. That's what happened here. Nothing we didn't see coming. 
We always knew Gareth was fated for greatness. As a boy, he'd leap through the fields with wooden sword in hand, slaying imaginary demons, protecting us from whatever evil he would dream of. We also knew that good men make enemies. We knew evil would come, and so it did. Not as a demon or as a witch, but as a man Gareth once knew as a friend. Jonathan. That jerk. He watched eagerly as those shambling husks descended. It seemed like a game to him. Like theatre. We would never blame Gareth. The righteous always pay a price. May the Seven will it. He will always be the hero we know him to be. Bow your head. You never saw this treachery coming. Protest. Are they sure it was Jonathan they saw? Yes, yeah, she knows. The truth can be difficult. We all want to believe in each other. It's what separates us from the void. It's what makes our existence worthwhile. <laughs> it's what we do next that defines us. We can respond with treachery. Or we can rise above. Say so you do your best to put Gareth on the right path. Drain them of their source. Condemn them. To, condemn, con why can't I talk? Condemn them to the void. Thank them and be on your way. I'll put Gareth on the right path. I already did. I trust that you will. Note the area's level of destruction. Surely the monks did not do all this. Gareth did his duty. We felt it was only right that we did ours. The farm was always a safe space for sorcerers needing refuge. They deserved a haven. And so we gave them one. Our guests were usually frightened. Shy. Grateful. They never used their source, so the Void Woken never came. The last one, though, she wasn't like the others. A lizard named Hanag. We housed her and fed her. Robes like a wizard's, voice like a queen's. Void Woken appeared before long, and paladins after that. She clearly drew the Magister's attentions. Our fates were written. Accuse them of being reckless. They put the region in danger. Offer your empathy. Surely the sorcerer meant no harm. Tell them you've met Hanag. She's safe. Drain them of their source. Condemn them to the void. Uh, tell them Hanag is safe. This heartens me. I'm glad to know we've not sacrificed in vain. I'm sad to know we couldn't do more. It's all good. May Gareth always choose the right path. Alright, give it a quick save. Anything in here worth snaking? Eh, no, not really. Broken loot. Anything in the chest? I think I'll get paper, make some spells, books, and crap later. What's in here? I think I could use an empty honey jar for stuff, right? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember anything. Eh. Alright, I think that's enough. Get some manis. Eh, I'm paying. 99 gold. Why not? take that one too but whatever okay so we got that out of the way uh where can i go from here paradise downs this is paradise downs i already got that chest if i go up there that's a kind of higher level area i don't want to go there quite yet i guess we can go to the pits although that's going to be kind of a probably do that in the next video because that's going to be a long one I could go over to the abandoned sawmill. I think. I don't think that's a hot, too high a level area. Let's see. It's not. I don't think it's level fifteen. Though I could be wrong. So let's go check it out. Why? Why not? Let's do it. Did I kill that wolf thing that was like worshiping over here? I, can't remember. I think I already did. Man, I am so out of the loop. Contamination spore. Thank you for the poison. Stupid friggin' Laura got killed, so now I don't have to worry about him getting poisoned, I guess. Moron. Oh, yeah, this one. Trial for all seasons. Oh, this is tough. I don't know if I can... Should I, I don't even remember how to unlock these. Uh, we can try this. I don't know I what level it is, though. An elf by appearance is not always an elf by heart. Prove yourself. Overcome the trial and stand as a true elf. Say so you want to hear what this trial entails, so you're ready to begin, so that you want to know who or what you're speaking to. I am the voice of the fire. My flame bears the will of all elves and lights the way for those 
Okay. Say that you want to hear what this trial entails first. Yeah, yeah, I'm inquisitive. You shall learn all that you need to know. Show patience. Patience is for the weak. A true elf knows that and a man answers. is a finer weapon than even the sharpest blade. The four seasons have served our people well. Four heroes rest before you. Pay homage to their skills. Solve their riddles. And prove yourself. If you can. Winter shudders with ice and snow. That's an easy one. Autumn rumbles. The sky lit a glow. Okay, that's the tough one. I Summer think I have burns, to do. Air fiery as a heart. Spring quenches with Summer. bloody rebirth. Okay, this one's summer. Okay, that's summer. So summer's just fire. Air fiery as a hearth. Okay, so sky lit a glow. I think I have to do lightning on this one. And I think I have to do like a fire cloud or something on this one. I can't if, if I recall correctly. And this one is blood. So blood shouldn't be too difficult, right? Uh, actually, it kind of is. This, the laser ray, I think I can use. Don't I have, like, the like little fire slug thing? I thought I had a, something that would give me the option to create. Oh, no, I, I think I took that off because I couldn't use it with my my uh, conjurers in, you know, incarnate. Okay. So I'm going to have to use this. I think. Oh, I don't remember. Alright, I'm going to save it. And then I can reload. In case this is wrong. Fiery air. Okay, that worked. Alright, so that's correct. At least one. A deep voice rises from within the totem. Summer, fierce and unyielding. May we cast the power of the sun against those who bring violence. The sun gives life to our trees, but burns their flesh. Oh, trees can get sunburned. All right, um, this one. Vaporize, petrified and further figure ground surface in the clouds. Okay, so I think I, can, I have to do like a lightning cloud or something on this one so I can vaporize some water which I have rain. I'm pretty sure well, I got rain scrolls, but I'm pretty sure I can do rain. Can I do blood rain? Yes, I can. So let's take you out, put you there. Where did it go? Why didn't it show up here? Okay, it doesn't do it automatically. Okay, your blood, right? Yeah. From within the totem, an otherworldly voice. Spring. Gentle, so that the others may be strong. This one's hard. The fallen quench the soil with their blood and hasten the rebirth. Death becomes life, as is our way. I think that one's like the two handed one, or this is the two handed one. No, this one's the archer. Is this one the archer? Can't remember, but these are like, some of these are like really strong and hard to do. Um. Let's do water next. Yeah. Ice is the easy one. I think. What do I have to do for the totem is still and silent. I think I just have to do like an ice attack. Which I probably don't have anything for ice. I do not. Um I don't even have a scroll for ice. Come on, gotta get a gotta have a scroll. No, I don't. Control the force of neighbor. No. Uh, thunderbolt stuns targets and deals air damage. Huh. That is completely insane. I don't have a single ice one. I see. Winter shudders with ice and snow. Yeah, so I just, I'm pretty sure I just need ice for that one. So I'm going to have to go to town and buy one, I guess. Who has ice? 
Okay, you, you got I ice. Got yourself situated. Oh uh, yes, arrow third. Okay, you don't got it. Yep. You got ice. You, well. you do. Okay, ice fan. There we go. Just grab one of these then. There's a cheaper one. Hail strike. We can do hail strike. Or do I have to freeze it? I think I might have to freeze it. Um. Hopefully not. Like, let's see if I can just do ice strike. Ice sur Okay, yeah. Great ice surfaces. Hopefully this will work. If not, then, uh, you know, I blame uh, Richard Simmons. That's what I do. Uh, get rid of all of these. Yeah, sure. Just take them all. I don't care. I don't care. Get it, doo doo. Where are ya? There you are. Learn skill. Okay. Hopefully that will be it. You're safe among friends. Back to the season's trials. The thing I love about this game is there's is the maps are very well crafted so it doesn't feel empty anywhere you go. Even though it's open world, everything is there for a reason and everything is very... Um, like, what should I say? Like, there's a point to it all. You know, it's not just like, oh, we just have stupid little quest things here or there. It's like, no, it actually has a reason for being there. Yeah, that was easy. From somewhere within the totem, a voice booms. Winter, that armors our forest home in ice and snow. Let it make our enemies stumble and fall. And make them easy meals for our speakers. Man, that's dark. Alright, um, get rid of this. Put the water in. Remember to actually put it on the hot bar. Click and drag. Okay, so I think I gotta do the cloud. Pretty sure I gotta do the cloud. Um, where's the vaporize? Did I not have it here? Didn't I have it here? Okay, there it is. Okay, there's a steam cloud. And I think I might want to get up here because, yeah, I don't trust anything. And then lightning. All right, save it because I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, all right, walk to the edge first. Path is interrupted. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, and if I talk to that one, I think that's what's going to start it, right? Can I talk to it from here? Nope. Alright. Okay, so we got it. You have sold the ribbon okay. and shown mastery over the seasons. Now you must face the trial of combat. Oh no! I wasn't expecting this. Ah, uh, they're all going to be able to go first, too. That's. Oh, okay, just him. Owie! What level are these guys? Level 14s. Okay. This is going to be a tough one. First of all, we need the incarnate. I need to get up here. Because I'm going to get my butt kicked. So let's get the incarnate going. What, what kind of incarnate do I want to do? Examine. I don't have any ability to see what their weaknesses are. I forgot about that. Okay, he's immune to fire. He's immune to air. And I, you know, obviously he's going to be immune to water, but is this one going to be immune to blood? Uh, earth immunity. Okay, so none are immune to poison or elect. Well, immune to air. Okay, so that's. We do have some that are immune to air. None are immune to acid. So we will do a acid incarnate. That guy is dangerous. This one is the one that's really dangerous, though. Now, maybe first I should just use Entangled on this one. Maybe this one. Oosh, which one? Mm, okay, maybe not. How do I want to do this? Might have to restart this because it's going to be tiff. What we can do is just put my Incarnate down here and force them to attack him. 
give him some armor for sure and magic armor and I have no armor I'm gonna get wrecked here and then do acid infusion okay now let's do some damage here brah these guys have a lot of magic damage or defense rather okay that should cut down on their armor and just end it okay oh no that's not good ah that's not good either no <laughs> that's even worse <laughs> oh I'm taking so much damage I'm chilled Shut up. Am I gonna make this? Okay. Ow! Look at that. And dead. Really? Ugh. Like, every hit is a crit. How the hell am I supposed to defend against that? Annoying. Let's try this again. Well, I mean, I guess we just might as well just load it from here. Uh, I hate that teleportation ability. It's so annoying. There's no other way I could have possibly I mean I guess I could just move to the back put my incarnate down in the front go away ow critical hit critical hit critical hit maybe I should just take this guy out first uh, you see the one that's immune yeah he's immune to fire Okay, so we will do the incarnate. And this time I think I'll just have the incarnate just attack him straight up, not do the special ability. Path interrupted, of course. Need two AP to get all the way over there. But if this should be far enough. <clears throat> farther what why didn't he go up there <sighs> like <laughs> it said what a p right here why did he stop come on man what are you doing to me okay well in this case that cost a lot we don't want to do that um Hitting all the mirrors pass. Let's just hit him. And then. Poison dart. Cast a pretty point of that. Did it do more damage than my regular attack? Attack him. Not me. Yep. Well, I'm dead. One hit. Okay, good. Attack the incarnate, please. That's what he's there for. This guy's gonna probably just one-shot me, though. God, the damage is insane. And the worst part is you have to hear these guys talk every single time before you, you know, die. <laughs> ah, of course, there he goes. Yeah, why wouldn't he? He's dead. Fun stuff. Because for some reason, my guy is incapable of climbing a ladder. I'm going to beat this fight. It's going to take seven hours, but I'm going to do it. Because I'm a man. And when we, you know, as a man, you commit, you get things done. That's what we do. I'm going to get some cheesecake, too. I'm going to commit to eating that. I'm going to finish that cheesecake. Get a whole one from Portos. White chocolate raspberry. Hey. Critical hit, critical hit, critical hit. 
Okay. So, let's try this again. Maybe I'm just gonna dump my incarnate and then just fly the hell away. And then regroup. Because I obviously can't do anything here to actually kill anybody in the first turn. Do -do 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 -do. So, if I... Who I want it like? Maybe I should just leave him here, because he has opportunity. So force them to walk by him. Maybe that'll work. All right, beef him up. God, I can't believe they just like take out my armor, one two hits. I mean, I'm not the strongest armor. I don't don't have the strongest armor on and stuff. I get it, but come on. Come in some slack here, y'all. Okay, now let's get the hell out of here. Whee! You guys don't see me. And you, since you're just going to be standing there anyways, might as well just use this. How much does your... That guy has a lot of magic resistance. Okay. When I, oh, you're immune to poison? Oh, earth immunity, duh. I forgot earth immunity is poison. Damn it. Well, now I know. So maybe acid won't be the... Well, I don't know. Why are you going this way? Leave me alone! Oh. Eh. Bugger off. I can handle this guy. I just gotta survive. They got acid on him. I can't believe I forgot about Earth being poison. <laughs> I'm a moron, 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 moron. Hey, he's not immune to friggin' poison. Oh, he's coming for me. Yeah, why not? There we go. Critical hit. All right, dude. You are getting on my nerves. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run away. Actually, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, maybe do an oil. I could do this. Blinded them. Blind for two turns. Yeah. Yeah. You're blinded. How do you like that? Now you guys are screwed. I mean, not really. Um, Alright. I need definitely to get some armor up. But I also need to buff my incarnate because he's taking some damage. And let's put this on me. And let's also put this. Ooh, shake it. Let's, yeah, let's do this. Next, I'll do haste. All right, that's good. That's good. We're doing fine. You are so going to die. Um, you too, but not before you. You have a lot of magic resistance, but I can poison you. You could be it. How much does this cost? Two? It's all cost two. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to kill this guy as fast as I can. Because he is such a pain. Walk by me. Walk by me. No, he's not close enough. You're blind. How can you hit me still? Come on. <laughs> Why does this game hate me so much? All right, summer or spring is rather is going to be a bit tough, but I do have this. Can I hit them both with this? I cannot, but I can hit spring, and spring does a crap ton of damage. Uh, but first, I want to get rid of this guy. So I'm gonna put this on my shelf. I'm gonna put this uh, totem over here, up here. And then I am going to, quite frankly, I should heal myself. Blow up your target. I have to be next to him to do that. I do. All right, so I got to kill you, bro. I got to kill you. Um, he's air immune, hovering. What would be a good way to do this? This would also be good. Yeah, let's get some more armor up. I want to... Uh, 
Oh, yes, this too. Well, I guess I'm just gonna be a tank. That's fine. Look at that damage. Yikes. And she just one shot my, my freaking incarnate. This is insane. Like, this Challenger of Spring is insanely strong. Like, come on. Shut up. Alright, you are getting on my nerves a little bit here, so let's take you. Get you over here. Thank you very much. You can stay over there, and then we'll do this. Now you guys are stuck. Isn't that just dandy? Alright, you're... N actually, neither of you are fireproof. How is my path interrupted? Thank you. Alright, burning, which is good, because they are, like, made of wood. That's kind of the theme. This guy isn't too big of a threat right now, so... Fire damage. There we go. And let's do a fire totem. Can't believe she one-shot my, my incarnate. <laughs> it's so annoying. All right. Um, I guess I'll just shoot him. Dink. How do you like them apples? All right. And I already got my mint metal on. Thought I did. Didn't I already use this? Guess not. Use that. Just in case. I did. Maybe it was a scroll. Why is this one just sitting back, not doing anything? It kind of makes me suspicious. Do a poison clad one. Alright, can't quite reach him yet. Don't think I want to. Just want to get this guy down. He only has one left on Entangled. That's not good. Because um, this guy is really strong. So how do I want to take care of him? Hungry flowers grow. And I can turn him into chicken. Actually, I got plenty of armor. I think we're going to be okay. I probably hopefully take a couple hits and I got this potion so let's just yeah do some more damage to him I don't want to do that fire trap okay, might as well use these never really do anything with them and yeah, might as well do this too just buff myself up how did he heal hard place Stop talking, nobody cares. Eh, do another poison cloud. Oh, that's not gonna work though, because that'll hit them. Alright, do a fire one. Don't want to use this, although I think even though this will hmm, This will heal him, but it's not it's not like he's taking a lot of damage anyways, but it should still knock him down if I'm correct. Nope. Knocked down, blocked by... Oh, physical armor, duh. Okay. Well, this will heal him. But I can at least slow him. Can I not? Shouldn't he be able to be slowed? Why are you guys attacking him and not the guy that's right in front of you? God. It's like they want me to die. Okay, let's try this again. We're going to build a wall of totems. I do not want this guy getting past. How much? I'm going to do another fortify. Yes, cast it, please. Thank you. Okay, I can conjure an incarnate now. And we are going to do a fire incarnate. And he is going to wreck everything. Probably not, actually. He's probably just going to get one shot. He looks cool, though. You're beautiful, baby. Yeah, that goatee. All right. Um, still has a lot of armor on, so I can't really kill him with that yet. You know, you'd expect him to have more fire damage. 
So let's just take get this guy down so he can actually be burnt and stiff. And this guy. Alright, that's cool. Can we? Why are my totems all disappearing? I don't know why he's just standing there. He's not even trying to move in. Okay. I uh, don't want to get you in it. Another fire totem, please. I do love my fire totems. Don't want to... I can fly up there. Yeah, why not? I can. He's almost dead. Yeah. Man, he's taking some damage. He has opportunity too, so I can't do anything with in that regard. Um, let's just kill him at least. And then just uh, resisted by physical armor. How did that heal him? This is guy is supposed to be. Of course. Of course. Hard place. Thank you for that. That's not annoying at all. Come on. Alright. Well, my guy's probably going to be dead next turn. And he can't reach the mending thing. Alright. Whatever. I just let him die. So I can't hit him with fire and I can't hit him <laughs> with, <laughs> with earth. With my two main things of damage. That is fantastic. Um, I dominate his mind. Here you. You're trying now. Well, you're pointless. Might as well just have you run over here or something, I guess. Be useless. Okay, so what the hell am I supposed to do with this guy then? Devour a corpse. Why he's being charmed. How much does he have left on the charm one? Where's the corpse? There is no corpse. Okay. Oh, uh, immune to... Well, he's, maybe he's not immune to Earth? Doesn't show it anymore. Let's see. Okay, so he's not immune to Earth. What is going on here? I'm pretty sure that wasn't a result of his... Um, like, just a random ability that comes with the mod... At least I don't think. Yeah. Well, whatever. We did it. That's a tough fight. Interesting fight, but tough. The trial of combat has ended. You are victorious. Your prize awaits. Use it wisely. As a true elf. As opposed to a fake elf? What's this? Yummy! Snacky cakes! Not that great. What is it? What can I even do with this? Burning from within, the fiery heart of the Phoenix has long been an open ritual delicacy and a test that separates the true blood of the forest from the other races. And I got a Phoenix egg. I don't remember what you actually do with this. You are victorious. There is nothing more for you here. Leave it so that others may prove um, okay. A certain glow remains around the totem. A glimmer of sentience and watchfulness. Listen to the wisdom of Semi. Summer, fierce and unyielding. Okay, we're already dead. All right, well, I guess I'm going to call it a night here. Going on an hour. Um, what do I want to do next? Probably next video I might do the Black Pits, or whatever these are called. Yeah, Black Pits. Because going north is higher level, I believe. I think this is all... Actually, we can get Bromleys. I don't think there's anything 
stopping me from getting Bromleys. Treasures, let's see. Bromley, let's see what you got in your treasure chest, Bromley. Where is it up here? There's a frog. These rivet guys will shoot you through if you get too close. I'm gonna try and slip through the back way myself. I like a rivet challenge. Alrighty. He's good to know. All right, where are you? There we go. See if this is anything good. I don't remember. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Squish. Justinia's Favor. Butterine Lucky Charm. Uh, I mean, those are kind of okay, I guess. Not something I would use, but... I don't really ever see the point of getting Bartering, to be honest. I played on, like, all difficulties... And, you know, several playthroughs, and I've never really had a problem with getting gold. Like, is bartering really worth it? Come cheaper in your item. I mean, I guess it's worth it if you're doing, like, a four-man playthrough. But then again, like, I mean, all this other stuff is just better. Like, thievery is, like, almost a must sometimes when, you're, when you have, I mean, when you have multiple people. Um, sneaking is a, you know, eh. If you're doing a sneak build, sure, but I never really care. Like, Telekinesis is awesome. Lore Master is great, but not necessary. Uh, well, I mean, it helps if you want to examine your enemies, which is really good, to be honest. But Persuasion is, like, almost a must if you like to do diplomatic runs. Lucky Charm is really good. One of my favorites, actually, because it, it procs. Once you get it up there, it procs a lot, and you can get a lot of stuff. But Bartering... I just never really saw the need. I don't know. Oh, man. I am all over the place here. Hydrofish, Shellfish, Necromancer. Do I have one point in there? No, I should put one point in a Necromancer. Uh, pyrokinetic. Needs me. Yeah. Okay. I guess we'll call it a day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and all that crap. Um... Next time, we're going to go to the Black Pits. Or just do the Sawmill. We'll see. Black Pits might be better first, because I think the Sawmill is... I don't know if I can handle it right now. The pretty beefy characters in the Sawmill. So, this has been Jerk Defiler. You guys have a good morning, afternoon, evening, or night, depending on where you are. I'm out.